Hi everybody, Laura here for Neat and Tangled. So happy that you're joining me, or should I say, I'm so lucky to have you. I am showcasing the So Lucky stamp set by Neat and Tangled, as well as this gorgeous uh, scalloped stencil. Here she is in all her glory. I'm gonna do some multi-inking with this beautiful scalloped stencil. So I have four um, beautiful inks by Simon's Stamp, starting with Jelly Bean. I've got some Lucky, Malibu and Scuba and I'm just randomly doing a little bit here a little bit there I don't have a plan I just wanted to use these four colors kind of fill up that space so what I'm doing is going for a bit of a St. Patrick's Day vibe if you will but not too heavy just a little bit therefore I'm using the greens but I'm also throwing in a little bit of aqua a little bit of scuba you know what I mean to lighten it up give it a little more softness I love how this turns out. Beautiful, gorgeous. And the stamp set, I'm going to stamp that big sentiment now. I'll pull up my Misty because I want to make sure I get really good coverage using VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And so this is great. So lucky to have you. And then there's a, a coordinating little sentiment that you can put with it if you choose, which is what I'm doing here in my life. So this is cool because you can use it for definitely St. Patrick's Day. There's little coordinating four-leaf clovers, but... I think this could go any time of the year. My mom always asks me every year this time, you guys want to come over for some corned beef and cabbage? And my husband and I, we're like, okay. But the kids are like, no, we don't want that. You know what they want to have is they want to have a shamrock shake from McDonald's. And I used to like that back in the day. I used to love that back in the day. Actually, you know what they have now is they got half chocolate, half shamrock. It's a mixture of chocolate and shamrock. I know, but really... You're only going for McDonald's for the French fries. Let's be honest, okay? So I took out my fuse tool. I've got one of these little sheet protectors. That's what I use. And I'm making like a full card shaker. And uh, my head was blocking it. So you didn't actually see me use my fuse. So I apologize. But you will see when I seal it up on the top end, you'll see me do that. But basically, you just take the fuse ruler and you seal it. And that is it. And I'm, feeling, I'm filling it up with my die cut shamrock my die cut uh, four leaf clover shamrocks and some neat and tangled sequins in coordinating colors now here i am sealing it boom done super quick and easy and i did that on all four sides and then now i'm taking my uh, craft knife and a ruler and i'm getting really close up to the seam and trimming off any excess and there you have, this is what I like to call a full-size St. Patrick's Day shamrock shaker. And it does shake. It's got a lot of shakiness going on. And then what I'm going to do is I've got a, a card base of Nina Solar White. I'm putting on adhering a bit of a dark teal cardstock that kind of coordinates with my card there. And this card's finished. I hope you enjoyed the video. Full-size St. Patrick's Day Shamrock Shaker. You gotta love it. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.